What the invasion has done, and we are tracking those gas prices for you. Here's a look at some of the lowest prices we found around the area. And boy, I'll tell you what, just over a day's time, those lows are going even higher. Toledo Sunoco Station, Manhattan area, you see it at $3.99, just under that $4 threshold. Maumee Marathon right there on Conant, pumping at 404 a gallon for 87 unleaded. And then Gibsonburg Marathon Station at South Main Street, 405. The national average right now topping 425 a gallon. That is according to AAA. You can track all of these prices along with us at WTOL.com so you know where you're going to need to go to get that lowest price around the area. So with prices being what they are, we wondered if car and truck sales would soon be impacted by that. Kaylee Marantet, she caught up with some folks at a dealership here in Toledo. And Kaylee, talk to us a little bit about the dealer's concerns right now with these high, high prices. Jeff, the person I spoke here at Grogan's off of Telegraph says they haven't noticed any changes at all since gas prices just spiked really recently. But if they stay high, it could be a different story. There's no electric vehicles sold here at this location, but there are some hybrid cars. But it's too early to tell if people will gravitate towards those cars because of gas prices. The concern that could be felt soon, though, is the decline of truck sales or at least, at least people waiting for prices to go down to purchase them. People might just think, well, we're just going to, you know, hold off for a month or two. Do I think it's affecting us right now? Maybe a little because people probably are wondering, maybe we should hold off and see where the gas goes and everything else. The struggle right now for dealerships everywhere is trying to get used cars on the lot and used cars have been hot because of the microchip shortage, not allowing for as many new cars to be on lots. Reporting live in North Toledo, Kaylee Marantet, WTOL 11.